Hello, hello, welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic and today we're gonna be talking about this game. Okay, probably didn't unpause this, usually I leave it uh, a little bit of trucks moving in the background but unfortunately no dice here. Okay, so what seems to be the issue with the game? Uh, nothing. It's a couple of thoughts about the game and about my experience. First of all, I think I'm less of a dumbass in real life when I'm playing this game, so I don't have so many issues because I can focus on a single thing even if I make mistakes, I can fix them. This way all the mistakes I make are actually, well, not really live, but they're online. And of course focusing on multiple things, including um, trying to be entertaining, is uh, it's, it can be a little bit challenging. Now I have a couple of uh, things I would like to try out here. First of all, we have this thing working. This doesn't require a lot of electricity, but we might have an issue. Let's try this. Can I disconnect this and expect it to work? Uh, let's try. Uh, remove it and let's remove this railroad here. Let's remove all of it here. Is this going to resolve any issues? So we still have a train standing there for some reason, so... And now he's going. Okay, so now he's going. We'll see how this is going to affect us. Uh, we had a couple of suggestions. This one was from Mr. Walter. Uh, that this could be causing some issues. Of course, we have several other connections how we can deal with this or mitigate this. What I did here is disconnected this from the main power system of the rest of the railroads. Now, it still has electricity through here, which is fine. How far this is going to go, I don't know. Uh, will we expand this railroad system? I don't know. Uh, this is probably going to take a lot of electricity from this power plant, but also it's connected to the rest of the grid. Now, this is not the thing I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about this game in general, so compl complexity of this game. I would like to assume that if I had a little bit more free time to actually play this game outside of these recordings, I do play it, but not as much as I used to or as I wish. That's just because of the real life things happening. Well real life period not really things happening so I, I used to play much more and had more time to the, create these tutorials and I would like to continue doing that but unfortunately sometimes I don't have enough time so sorry Mr. Moore I'll give my best to finish some of the tutorials I started and I have planned to so um, what I wanted to talk about this uh, I have an experience with some games for example I used to play multiple multiple games that became less and less sophisticated uh, which shown to increase the number of uh, players playing the game. So what do I mean by that? I mean that this is not gonna have electricity. This grid here is not gonna have electricity. I think we're gonna have to get electricity here. Anyway, <coughs> so what do I mean by that? I mean that um, game lost the uh, games I used to play, um, went to simplify the, the process of gameplays, and this kind of uh, destroyed passion within me to play that game. So for example, if this game became more simple to play, for example, if it didn't have heating, I, I probably will never play this game without heating, I'll probably never play this game without seasons, and this kind of th stuff, as complex as the better. I don't think I'm ever gonna play this game without the hardest level difficulty. Now, I look like a dumbass sometimes. It's because, you know, multiple things happening and usually I would just pause or, you know, whatever. I wouldn't say cheat uh, my way through the game, but I would definitely, you know, pause and, uh, you know, fix the issues, supply chains and this kind of stuff, which I can't really do here because, you know, I'm still going to look like a dumbass. But anyway, so this is the... Uh, reason why I'm not the best player on the YouTube ever, I mean like while recording, but anyway, uh, if this game lost complexity, I would be sad, I wouldn't like the game, I wouldn't like the game because it would become simpler. Now, the problem with this complexity and simplicity of the game is the more complex the game is, it's more specialized to a certain people. Uh, less and less people will like it or dumber people won't play it because it's too complex. 
Uh, you can always try to develop levels of that, but sometimes on the base level, game still has to have some kind of base level rules. I will cite some of the games that I used to play that were magnificent, but later additions to the game were actually stupefying dumb and I just gave up on the games altogether. Some of them you guys might like and might not agree with me, but here we go, let's start. Civilization, for example. I used to play every single Civilization there is and now when I see 75% off on Civilization, I don't even want to purchase it. If it was free, maybe I would add it to the library, but I wouldn't play. I think it, it was too simplified, too cartoonish, it became less Stellaris-like and more... I don't know. Let's continue on. Uh, Settlers. Settlers is one of the games I used to adore. I played every single one of them, but later on, after three or whatever the number was, four or five, it, it again, it kind of seemed to be more simplified, cartoonish, and not realistic enough or complex for my taste. Farming sim, multiple simulators. They're just dumbing down the games where you, know, you have to do less to be able to play it. And this is what I would don't want this game to become. I don't want to become so complex so other people won't play it, except freaking me. Because there's a lot of games that you, you, I used to play, I will still play. Like Transport Tycoon Deluxe, which is freaking 90s game. Capitalism 1 and 2. These games were from early 90s. They're extremely complex and I love them. But they also failed because of the same reason. <clears throat> it's not majority ba majority uh, people uh, uh, majority people friendly. Let's go with that. I it's complex game. It's quite 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 complex, and uh, you have to understand it in order to play it. But if you need to read a freaking Bible and Quran to understand how to play the game, is it really worth it? Well, for some of us it is, and and I still find these challenges that I'm experiencing here quite. Um, entertaining. I want to get over them and yeah, sometimes it's stressful and pissing me off stuff. Yeah, I understand. And most of the time it's me. Sometimes it's the game, even though Mr. Stats looking at you. Uh, I doubt that it was always your fault with any railroad intersection issues and uh, Mr. Walter looks like disconnecting this railroad actually doesn't do anything. And again, uh, on the other hand, this guy seems to be blocking himself or something. I'm not really sure, but uh, let me remove some of the um, uh, lighting system here because it's not connected to the, the rest of the network anymore, so he can do the voodoo that he do do so well. But uh, I think I'm going to have to cut some of these cables or at least find a way to get electricity here. I can always connect it to the rest of the grid, uh, maybe in the opposite direction here and put a semaphore to separate them, but um, I'm not really sure if that's going to work or not. Uh, right, right, right. Uh, if he was able to construct this, he's going to be able to construct the second line. And we have almost tram system done. This is quite interesting. Again, we still don't have electricity there. I'm going to have to find out how to implement electricity over here. Um, right, this train system here, again, it doesn't work properly. This train was not even cro Well, it's way off, way crossed. And this guy still is not... Whoa, whoa, is this on the right? Yeah, it's on the right hand side. That's fine. Uh, so this system is still not operating perfectly. I'm fine with that, okay, we'll see what the issue is, but there are a couple of suggestions how we can do this. Okay, um, one other thing I would like to talk about is the base games and some real life uh, expectations, maybe from some people, maybe my own that need to be adjusted, but for example, um, uh, was it Mr. Seatom who mentioned that every that he would be happy if every single building required heating and uh, people working there? I agree. Many more than now would be really, really good. The problem is that uh, in real life, some of the um, the factories actually produce their own, if not electricity, heat. For example, steel mill that wouldn't require outside heat source if they are processing heat. Well, let's call it 24 hours a day, or while the war, well, while there are people there, because that's the sole purpose of the steel mill is to produce steel and you need heat for that um, you wouldn't really need a heating plant to heat the steel mill um, my own personal experience would be the sugar refinery from my hometown they uh, during the harvest season of the sugar beets they actually not only um, uh, created their own heat because you have the production of cox i believe that the coal and then you have alcohol production, you need to boil all that stuff. They do produce their own electricity, but they also do produce their own coal. They produce their own uh, heat as well. And they were heating part of the city for like four months out of the year during the winter times, just because their own heat production. So some, some 
uh, heating plants, power plants, in real life, they should be both. They should be at least producing electricity for their own operation, rather to sucking electricity from the grid, even though I do understand if electricity from the grid is needed for the uh, operation of the heating plant, but you know, you have a hot boiler with the boiling water there, come on, put a turbine there and produce your own couple of megawatt of electricity, maybe even less than that, for, for operation pumping purposes, maybe it's more, but I'm pretty sure that they can create it, I mean, damn it, they have their own heating system, you heat the water, spin the turbine, produce electricity, you don't have to have freaking nuclear power plant in there, you know, I it, it seems like these buildings here wouldn't require heating, power plant, they're already burning stuff, so yeah, I mean, this is actually grabbing the straws, even though some of these buildings, yeah, Maybe it's just uh, 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 I'm grabbing the straws here, but I don't think every building needs uh, heating. L uh, the, the fire stations, of course, 100%, yes. I would even say stations, like bigger stations, like not, not really bus stations in the middle of the road, but maybe harbors or something that usually would have a bigger infrastructure. For example, maybe heating should be related to the actual overground buildings that are there. Well, underground as well, but overground, because this doesn't look like you know, pretty dark for, you know, people transport, you usually would have some kind of houses or waiting areas or something like that, this is like, if it's raining or snowing, people are literally, you know, at the edge of the sea, standing in the snow, but anyway, you know, maintenance buildings or something. Anyway, that being said, let me just go real quickly to some of the issues we mentioned. Um... Mr. Bill said the solution to the semaphore problem is to put two single one way um, on the loopy loop uh, to counteract the uh, uh, trains against self blocking. Yes, uh, this would definitely, this sounds because the second one he suggested is to have semaphores disconnecting this area from that area, and uh, this could be also the, the, the thing, the solution to this issue. But um, in this case, if we created this, for example, and tell the trains that they need to go in this direction and then you know, have them space here to do the loop uh, could be resolving the issue from them blocking themselves. Even though it doesn't seem like they're blocking themselves, for some reason it takes them a while to get through this intersection. What I mean by that, they're waiting on this red light longer than they should. I mean, trains pass through all the way and they're still waiting there for some reason. I also agree, Mr. Stas mentioned that the, the usually two problems are always related to the railroads. It's our, our understanding and inability to uh, to resolve the issue, to, to uh, sorry, um, uh, our fault by making some mistakes we do. Or the second thing is uh, our inability to understand what the issue is with the railroad system and how it works. Because I believe that this railroad system doesn't work like the real world one. You know, you would. This is a two-directional train line. The trains should be uh, able to operate in both directions. Here, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, here, for example, uh, uh, here. Uh, why is this train not going here? If this one already has um, uh, orders to go here on the right-hand side, it has to actually wait for some time. I don't think this works as a real life. They should be able to communicate with each other. I mean, that's why the signals are there and all. So, yeah, anyway, I think uh, uh, there are some illogical things happening with the railroads around here, so uh, I don't think it's only us that who's the problem in the whole whole um, whole situation, but uh, actually the difference of the real world and the uh, in-game world. Um, yeah, I think this is more or less what I wanted to say, I even commented this in my notes here. Um, uh, the, the second thing that uh, Mr. Mr. Bill said that we should put these semaphores over here. Well, in this case, I removed the whole freaking line, uh, which is, uh, well, to say the least interesting. I, I now will have to connect it, probably try to... Con oh, this works? Oh, wow. Uh, I'll try to connect this with this system so they can draw power from... Uh, they, they can draw power from the... Uh, other train line so I can construct this and let him construct even this one and hopefully I can put some semaphores here to you know Hopefully they're not gonna go and interfere with each other. But anyway, anyway, it doesn't really matter uh, Hopefully this is gonna function as intended a little bit. Ah, it's fine Anyway, uh, continuing on mr. Moore 
Um, yes, so this complexity thing, this is the first of the things I wanted to uh, discuss is what are your opinion of overly complex games? I bet that people like Mr. Uh, Stats would like to have this game, maybe even Mr. Sitoms, as complex as freaking possible. And I agree with that. I might be in the same basket with you guys, that it needs to be extremely complex because it's challenging. And this is what we're looking in these kind of games. If it's simplified, if it's without heating, if you're, it's only vanilla, if it's, you know, this kind of stuff, it, it we might lose interest in this game. And I can totally see this happening if this game becomes a little bit simpler or, you know, more colorful and cartoonish. Other example, I wanted to say a little known game that um, uh, I don't know if you guys know how Cities Skylines became to be. Uh, there was a game called Cities in Motion that was made by Colossal Order, the first version. Uh, that game is absolutely magnificent. It's one of my favorite games of all time, Cities in Motion, the first part. It had uh, uh, real-life cities uh, relatively realistically made, and it made it so engaging. The cities were developed through the ages and expanded in the new neighborhoods and stuff. It was absolutely fabulous. City Skylines, Cities in Motion 2 is actually the basis for the City Skylines. If you ever play Cities in Motion 2, you will see where the Skylines comes from. And they decided, hey, we have this public transport similar let's just turn it into the city building and of course with cooperation with paradox interactive they created something incredible the best city building game by far so far but i would like to go and back and uh, if you guys have an opportunity to see cities in motion first part and the skylines how much different the difference there is cities in motion is a magnificent game it's by no means some kind of old uh, bad graphics game it's really really good but it's different cities in motion 2 um it's a little bit more cartoonish than the uh, than the cities in motion 1 as well as the skylines so my favorite out of those three is cities in motion 1 because of the graphics complexity of the game and everything mechanics uh, user inf interface is everything for me it's a little bit better it, it's something that suits me more so this is this is a couple of things i would i wanted to address concerning the complexity of the games uh these days including this game here so uh, um I don't want this game to change. I want it to be as complex as possible, but this also might affect uh, the fan base of this game as well. So uh, I don't want that to happen. I want this game to you know, keep growing to have as many people as possible, not because we need them, but because, well, developers need it, not us. So um, this is the only reason why I would like to keep this game, you know, growing as it is, just so we can have the more content and so on, because this is how, unfortunately, capitalism works. So we're going to have to develop to, in order to, well, develop. So, yeah, I, 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 I would like it to grow just because, you know, we, we as the core of this game would have more content. And if you don't build this uphill road here, the heads will roll. I promise you that. You are lucky. Somebody is lucky today. Probably myself, because I am the dumbass who did this. You remember how it was long time... Ah, look at the excavators working now. Come on, let's level this all. Level the hell out of this place. Okay, it's still side of the mountain. Even though we have many, many more excavators, uh, we still will have to... Why do we have many, many more excavators? Yeah, because it's still in the range of more months construction offices. Okay, come on, come on. Can we bend this? Can we? Okay, there's some leveling happening. That's nice. I still have a feeling that this leveling is not going to go well. Because this is still steep. Well, uh, let's hope for the best. Uh, let's hope that we can cheat our way through this. Uh, that I can... Oh, boy. Again, the mountainside, when you have to level this bedrock, that's a bad, bad thing. Come on. You can do it. Just a few. Uh, probably shouldn't have him. Ooh, this one is steep. Ooh, I see problem. 
I see a problem. Okay, this might be a problem. Let's let's do this. Let's not even do this one. Let's let's stop it here. And let them build this one as well. They're on auto search. Anyway, a um, couple of other things I just want to real quickly address. Um, uh, I think... I think um, I addressed this. I wrote this in the comment. I can just read it. Uh, yeah, the issue might be the fact that the in-game rules don't work as a real-life rules. This is what I already mentioned. Um, which is not perfect and a bit difficult to understand. On the other hand, I don't believe that the uh, anything in the real life world uh, is perfect and doesn't need improvement. That was me almost trying to sneeze. But uh, so the, the real life uh, rules are not perfect, and some games, like City Skylines, actually are extremely good simulators of you know uh, testing the city design and this kind of stuff. So I think some games have better <laughs> resolutions to real life than actually real life um mr stats is right when he said that um it's um uh it's our fault or, or lack of understanding but understanding something illogical and agreeing with it are two different things if three division um invented a better real world train system it's perfect but if they made it even worse and it's supposed to be like that it's hard uh, it's hardly us to be blamed on the other hand it's their game and their rules that this is what we need to we need to uh, agree on you can always put pressure on the developers and you know tell them what you want which i think a lot of developers actually want and this is the really good way of developing the actual games you know like just developers need to talk to to users to players they need to talk if there's no conversation they're going to be developing crap and nobody's going to be playing it or listening it one other thing i think i didn't uh, put it uh, darn it again posters from the workshop i didn't do it it's still on the list uh right 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 there's a couple of things i wanted to say that uh, something is unrealistic in this game like for example if uh, everybody sees that the train is stopping uh for example at our oil unloading facility over here uh this ramp is down even though train is it has stopped i mean in real life uh, uh police or whoever would open these or whoever is maintaining this would open the ramps because we know the train cannot pass because of the traffic issue and yet this ramp stayed closed this is this has no real basis in reality it's not like the train was blocking the traffic directly on there um right sugar refiner i mentioned that and on the other hand uh that's it. I think I'm more or less done with all of this. I still didn't do some things. Posters are still on the list to be done. Sorry about that. But we're going to continue today and uh, finish constructing our... <laughs> famous last words we're gonna finish constructing <clears throat> um some of the projects here so we have a uh, left hand side uh bad boy here we need uh this is only one excavator stage this is two excavator stage this is three excavator stages this needs to be constructed first uh, as well as this uh, but we can construct this one so this is all of this can be handled by one of these construction offices not not more than that uh we do have some other stuff here let's start resolving this and i think we can employ the same construction office over here as well i believe they, they will be able to handle this you can see these big buildings here just in case because i know that they're going to require a lot of um a lot of uh, uh machinery and uh, a lot of equipment i will be uh, putting it to a different construction office i will though not limit ours us to to you can see that there's a lot of uh, people already assigned to this and buses are going left and right constructing this this is going to be done in no time uh, and i'm really hoping that these are going to be done soon they are all assigned to bus services and the materials are more important to be delivered and i know i know i should have had more vehicles but i think we can handle it like this it's going to take a few minutes but um, well, a few minutes more than usual but uh, we'll make it the band's gonna make it not another not a lot of people working here why is that bus station here is full of people I expect this to be full of people soon. Come on, people. Uh, they have only two construction projects. And now that we have cleared the mess, I will assign this one by one. Let me finish the projects that we have started already. So we can start delivering coal here by trains and just retire all those uh, vehicles. Now, talking about vehicles, I will uh, say one thing. I know that Mr. Stats thinks that he is the uh, biggest uh, uh, Mr. Robs' fan. But um, I think I'm better. But anyway... Uh, 
Oh, this needs to be connected. Okay, let's, let's do it like this. This is just for the access for the vehicles and that's it. Uh, what I wanted to do around here is uh, something that um, I think is going to be extremely nice, good, cool addition to this game. And that would be um, uh, vehicle depot. So that would be, is it under D? Who the hell knows? Because it's not. Then we have technical search train depot, uh, vehicle depot. I always forget where this one is. Cargo station, cinema, uh, road vehicle. Depot. Wow. Okay. They need to. They need to decide. Well, probably I need to learn. Oh yeah. Uh, questions? Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> uh, I'm drinking coffee only. I. Um, uh, nothing else. Well, a little bit of whiskey in there, but. I'm kidding. It's a work day. I don't. I, we don't do that stuff. What I wanted to do uh, now is demonstrate the, the the grandiose nature of of this huge, enormous uh, vehicle depot. Why is it good? Why do I love it? This big vehicle depot is actually quite amazing. Um, you you see all those vehicles? How we're gonna slowly uh, phase them out of our uh usage we're not we're not gonna be using them anymore these uh, i'm not sure if i should build this here because ooh, uh look at this this one doesn't have the fire oh they do on the other side but i can do it like this this is fire ex uh, access or exit let's do it like this uh yeah, i think this is fine just for fire fighting purposes they have it on the other side as well maybe i should have done that no maybe, maybe we don't need it uh, let's just remove this. Go, go to hell uh, because you're making me angry. And then uh, let's go. Just give me a second. I need to do something over here. Uh, sorry about that. Right, so what I wanted to do here is create the same, the depot here. You remember how we're going to be implementing trains for a lot of our, well, crap, work stuff we're going to be doing? Um, we're going to have to park those vehicles somewhere. Well, guess where we're going to park them? On these big, huge, enormous Mr. Robs' uh, depots, because they're absolutely perfect for this. So, for example, uh, as soon as the, uh, here we go, this one is working for some reason. Uh, and this one now is passing. This is Mr. Um, uh, 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 sorry, this is Mr. Walter, I believe he said. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 Mr. Bill. Mr. Bill said that we should um, um, put these semaphores. And I think this is a genius idea. And thank you for this. This is definitely speeding things up. As long as they're going to build this, that's going to be fine. Uh, and that's going to be perfect. So this is the main problem for our construction. And I'm waiting for them to finish this. Um, I will give these guys, because they only have three projects, two projects now over here. What's the second one? Let's go for... Uh, let's, let's give them this, because I'm pretty sure they're going to be able able to go in the back here or something and uh, yeah yeah they're gonna be able to go in the back and construct it and they're already in the way and what's with the other uh, projects here they have uh, this one where is this one this is this is over here oh right uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can you can do this as well uh right let's finish the first one first and then we go oh is that the one actually going there? Oh, he is. But um, the, again, this is the problem because everything here is treated as a single entity. So they might have, uh, they might build it a little bit slower. What I'm talking about, it's quite complex. And I'm not sure if I know what I'm talking about here. But um, as far as I understand it, if you don't have any semaphores on the construction of your railroad, uh, the trains will just go in and out and not block themselves. For some reason, they will not block unlike these they will not block themselves the the, the trains doing construction um, but if you implement semaphores they're suddenly gonna start stopping at the semaphores because then they suddenly register themselves as a uh, actually legit trains not really 100% true because I like I said I'm still trying to still trying to understand this but um, there's something like that something in that ballpark what I'm gonna do now is work on some of these things over here so we're gonna have to first things first is build the uh, bypass so what we need here is a bypass for our vehicles so, so we need to build a bridge here and in order to build a bridge we can just make them use this and this and yes we can just um, demolish this road it's gonna be a little bit longer trip for them 
but unfortunately nobody cares because I know I know how I can do it. Uh, you know, okay, fine, I'll do it. So you would just have to separate part of the road that you're gonna destroy, so there's no vehicles there because they tr count this as a one big road. Now this one is gonna have to go back because there's no more road. Congratulations, all of you get back. Uh, they have question marks, but they can go into this. Uh, this area here and then go through this and go in the bypass order all the way here They're gonna have asphalt road. Unfortunately, it's gonna be much a little bit longer a little bit longer What I'm gonna do in this case is of course go crazy because they're still Counting this as somebody being here and we need to build a bridge uh, Normal bridges normal bridges Jeff bridges uh, Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? A uh, combination of several bridges. I think Babushka said something really bad about that. Let's try to experiment with this a little bit. Is this gonna work? One, two, three. This doesn't look that bad. And then, but, 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 what if we combine this with something that has kind of overhead thingy like this? Is this bad? Uh, Babushka, do you think that combining these two types of bridges together is that bad? Uh, it kind of makes, uh, it kind of looks, I don't know, it looks, that's the best I can do. It just looks, but I'm not sure, like, what. Does this have any redundancy in the road connection? No, it doesn't. I was thinking if I can remove this footpath and push this road back a little bit more. Well, I'll push back the road anyway, and, uh, just try to, com uh, try to make this look a little bit nicer. I don't know, uh, Babushka, if you're watching this, please let me know what you think about this. Um, I can always demolish it, it's not a problem, because these are two different bridges combined. I wanted to have these arches here, but if I connected the incline road with arches, even a little bit longer, it's going to be arches here, and that, that's just going to look ridiculous. And I believe even unrealistic, I don't think these arches can actually just build, be built angled, because they have a function to fulfill, they are holding the weight or pulling the weight up towards these uh, carrier beams here, so weight of the road, so I don't think... Uh, angled road e even this I'm not sure if it's the best thing to do because um, these arches beneath are also the ones that are holding the most of the weight but they're kind of connected with the beams in, in not a 90 degree angles so I think this seems a little bit more reasonable for ascending a road I can always go for ascending roads like these um, not straight ones, but I don't know if combination of these concrete pillars and then uh, whatever this is would be nice. But these look to be of a, of a similar design. They have a one big large pillar holding the whole road here and here. So I think something like this might look a little bit nicer. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, we're gonna need a couple of uh, cement mixers. Here we go. Cement mixers are, the, are, are us. Aras, yes, that's the one. There we go. This is all done. This is going to be automatically built. Manually, I'm going to have to finish the whole bridge. But uh, when it's done with the road and this part, there are only two segments left. So hopefully, we're going to finish that. We're going to see a lot of traffic through here, but that's only temporarily. Okay. Um, let's focus now, because we have a lot of stuff here under construction. Uh, the one last thing I didn't do here. There was a really good mod. I'm sorry if I'm going to miss represent it or tell it that it's somebody else's not i thought it was mr legend gamer um somebody had previously and i think i don't i still i don't have this it was a substation mod that covers enormous territory like a pre-built it has nine uh, substations that are connected with underground cables that, that was before the actual underground cables were and i think it was I don't know if it was quite affordable or not, but it was interesting mod and nevertheless. So why I'm mentioning that because I could use one of those substations here and then cover the whole industrial area here with electricity. Unfortunately, we don't have that at the moment, so I'm gonna go and build. Um, I'm gonna go and build a lot of uh, substations. Um, I will connect them with overhead uh, wires uh, to keep it the same like we did previously. So let me let, uh, uh, with the uh, same logic like previously. We have this. Do you have any electricity over here? Uh, well, these guys should have electricity, and I can see that... 
Okay, where's your electricity coming from? Ah, power plant. And there's one here. Okay, perfect. This is the one I was looking for. So we have one uh, substation here and one substation here. Perfect. Uh, so what's not covered here? Nothing here. So I'll, I'll put a substation over here. Let's put it in this direction because that's where the uh, electricity hoses are coming from. Something like this. Uh, so this is going to cover most of this area. So we have one over here. We have one over here. Nothing is, is anything. Yeah, this one is covering this. And then we have the one that we built over here and over here. So this one is the important one. This one here. What are you not covering? You're not covering these construction offices. I would like to cover. They're covered. Okay, perfect. So again, we have, uh, where is it? this one here and then we have this area over here so what are you covering i'll just to have some kind of redundancy i think i'm gonna go like this i'll build one over here okay so what i was talking about with the um uh, keeping with tradition that would be overhead the cables and overhead pipes and this kind of stuff all of this is going to be in our industrial areas industrial areas will not have what the hell did i just do uh all right i was pressing go away i was pressing buttons um our industrial areas like uh, mr stats mentioned previously it was a really really good idea um they should have uh, overhead pipelines uh and not underground pipelines why because it looks more industrial and it's more reasonable and nobody cares how it looks like because it's um uh, uh, it's industrial area people don't live there so it's not really that important to look fancy Okay, I'll leave one of these connections for this side just in case and then we're gonna need two of them in this direction. So let me see what we can do in here. So if I go like this, uh, this one needs to connect it to that. This can be done like this and then straight here and then second one can go close. Uh, And there we go. Something like this. Any excavators free? Uh, you can see that we are quite busy over here. So electricity hoses, well, they're in place. Hopefully we're gonna remember to build them. I'll let them finish these construction stages that they have. You can see that this is really, really busy. We can go and search construction that requires a lot of... Um, uh, that requires... Ooh, this one is practically done. Seven days, I'll wait for this. Uh, I want to say that requires a lot of concrete and this is exactly the thing that we need. Well, is the other one here as well? No, these are flatbeds, all of them. Uh, right, uh, let's wait for this to be finished. It only requires three more days, two and then one and it's gonna be done any second now and come on, chop chop, go away, go away. There we go, perfect. So we can build this big. Um, I'm gonna build one of these, uh, 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 one of these areas somewhere. You know what would be cool around here to have this uh, truck depot. Uh, currently, we're using these small vanilla ones, but the bigger ones would be definitely warranted. So it would be probably around here because it's centrally located in the between all these cities over here. It can be in Galask, but I didn't want to um, uh, disturb the nature of Galask anymore. I would like to, you know, shrink it down slowly slowly and this kind of stuff let me check how Galaski is doing all the trains there's nothing nothing seems to be stuck which is perfect but stone stone we are filling some other are we filling i need to redo not redo i need to revisit the the whole oh we can actually if we build you yeah, know what let's let's let us be um destructive a little bit let's go and start upgrading some of the roads while we are upgrading some of the roads the other ones need to be free so let's go and do uh, right i don't want to do this let's do bit by bit let's do bit by bit that's it let them upgrade there they can go always around that's fine hopefully that's gonna be fast every time i visit this place it's it's i'm gonna be rechecking how everything is doing um the food wise the harvest only started right now is there queues no queues that's fine uh, i won't disturb the farming areas at the moment because um harvest and all okay what's happening here electrical components are being stockpiled that's nice we have some Ooh, 45 tons is anybody actually coming here there are vehicles coming here. KMZ covered hull. Where are you going? 
Brospine. Okay, this guy is delivering electrical components. So what's the situation with all? Can we stop? Because they hit, there's 46 tons of it here. What about these guys here? These guys have working without issues because everything is in a storage, including electrical electronics. There's crap load of them. Uh, I think we have one of the trucks the importing the electronics. Uh, how the hell am I supposed to find that? Let's try this way. So we need electronics. Click on that. Okay, there we go. What are you doing? You are distributing electronics. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a truck that is actually importing electronics because I think we have a truck that is going all the way to this border importing electronics. No. Let's put this to three kilometers because it's going to be more visible. And here we go. This is this could be the one because I'm pretty sure that I stopped exporting this. But let me see when he gets to the border. Actually, you know what? He's running full all the time. Uh, Braspina cargo station, you're loading electronics. Okay, you know what? You can be retired. You can be retired. I'll see what I'm going to do with you later. But for now, you can go here. <clears throat> so we are not going to be importing electronics anymore. 37 tons of electronics here. I don't even know how electronic distribution functions in this country and i'm not being funny i seriously don't remember how, what did we do here to make electronics function but uh, it is and i'm not touching it at the moment so period don't mention it ever again electronics is working but i know that chemicals are going to be a big thing and i'm not expecting us to export chemicals per se i'm always added value person added value meaning that we need to add value to a product as much as we can before we actually go and they're seriously finished these roads are already Oh, wow. Okay, that was a little bit unexpected. That's fine. That's perfect. Bus construction office Murmansk. Bus construction office Murmansk. There we go. Finish that. These are building these. That's fine. Let's focus on this area over here. Now, bear in mind that these guys um, are working on a different principle than the... Oh, we're going to need electricity hoses. We have it here. Uh, heating we can we can actually start the crap load of this well actually we have buildings up and running so definitely we should do something with them uh, technical services yeah let's start let's start three kilometers let's go for for three kilometers none of the mud roads uh, gravel roads as well we don't have to clean them uh, let's buy some vehicles again. I like cars. I know that this is the fastest one because it can go 50 kilometers per hour while plowing. Uh, the rest of them 23, 32, 28, 39, 43. This is the second most powerful one. Actually, I think this is... They're equally powerful, but I like cars. Cars is like a symbol. Cars is like... I don't know. It's cars. I, I like causes. Okay, let's go with causes. And they're, I want to say they're more expensive, but no. Uh, they're not more expensive, but uh, I like causes. I, and let's let's leave them be. Uh, we're missing petrol station. I just noticed that. Uh, let's try to find fueling station. So how are we going to do this? We go for the gas station and go with not one way. Big ones, Mr. Robs' gas stations, the intersection gas stations, and plonk them somewhere uh here well, as good as place as any i believe uh, like this that's fine long enough for the road to come in so we're gonna go for uh, 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 groundwork moments and let's start building that there's a lot of construction that can be finished here and we didn't finish this uh, this office here we're still missing uh oil unloading area what else did we say this is the this is the uh, uh, cement unloading area so we're gonna have to have this these ones as well so something like this uh, right snapping snapping snap 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 there we go and we're gonna have to have an exchanger here hopefully we're gonna have enough space yeah right uh, maybe not maybe not yeah, we, we can have an exchanger over here. It can actually work. This exchanger over here can work for every individual one of these. So I think that's going to be fine. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. So we have a loose cargo that would be gravel and coal. We have coal storage here. Yeah, let's start. Let's start. Construction Murmansk. Fine. Go. Um, we need this one. This would be... Oh, no, no. Pause, 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 pause. My bad. My bad. 
Uh, again, this is going to be assigned to construction, Murmansk. Okay, my bad. I haven't used that button in a long, long time. Uh, again, <laughs> yeah, liar. No, I, I really didn't. Um, again, assign this in the... He went awfully quickly for that purchase button If he, for somebody who never used it before. Well, who, who didn't use it a lot. Um, groundwork. Uh, groundwork here as well. So we can start doing these. Um, so we have cement uh, distribution, delivery. This is construction work. Go and finish this. You can build this one as well. So let's go. This is going to require a lot of steel. Just heads up. So we have here... Um, we have here the, uh, the, 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 the uh, asphalt plant, and we have the this bad boy here with uh, construction. Now, what I was thinking here, uh, we with the cargo stations. Is it cargo stations? Uh, we do have these pass through. Do we have? I was hoping to implement this cargo station somewhere somehow. And look at this. This gravel is supposed to go everywhere. And now this cement kind of uh, is in the way. I'm gonna have to get this uh, sorted some somehow. I could probably put it like here or something. But uh, I'm still gonna need uh, the 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 uh, badia badia. I'm gonna need the road infrastructure. For example, if I go for something like this, this is not bad. So for example, maybe even in this direction and in this direction, uh, a little bit like this and then. Uh, sure, why the hell not? SpaghettiO. Okay, and Shrink, 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 shrink. There we go. Something like this. Uh, probably should build it in sections, but no dice. And then uh, let's go and build the... This system. The important system. So this should work. Doesn't matter. I can go for a straight tower. This is something that needs to be implemented. Can I do it like this? Well, I can do it like this. But is this viable? Can I connect all of this to everything? If I build it here, is this connectable? Oh, look at this. So if I do it like this, and then have the tower here, maybe direct tower, like this. What say you? This looks like a viable option for whatever we're doing here. Whatever the hell are we doing here? So this could be gravel. This is a gravel storage. It's gonna go here, of course, here, and then to this tower. This tower is connected. This tower is connected, and then this tower. Voila! Everything has gravel. Still missing oil. Still missing oil. So we're still missing oil. This could work like an industrial area. Of course, all of this is gonna require electricity, but we are way ahead in this game. Coffee time for me. Kind of way, way ahead in the electricity game because we already have electricity uh, hoses over here. Okay. Um, right. A lot of this stuff can be constructed straight away. The problem is, how? what's the capacity? What capacity do we have in Murmansk? Murmansk has... Uh, five excavators ready and we have uh, five cranes ready okay that's um, these five cranes is kind of tricky um, to to well you see we see what I mean because they will not deliver cranes until people are on the site but they need to deliver the materials first so this is tricky this is this is lying to us it's saying yes you have free cranes that's because we're taking cranes into account and not the actual construction site assigned to this A construction site assigned to this should correlate with the number of cranes that we need on those construction sites. So I believe we have potential for or, or capacity for one more construction, unless some of them require two cranes. And say, seeing that there's a big, big construction happening, I'm going to say that construction Murmansk is full. Um, groundwork Murmansk is, on the other hand, uh, excavators are one of the first... No, it's not one of the first ones. But anyway, excavators, these guys are free. Uh, road is done here. This is one of the things we were waiting for. So let's go and click on the road and connect this like this. And then we said we have five. I said one, two. Uh, we said something about this. What's here? 
This is the road cargo station. This is one. This is the busy one. This is this is going to be a busy one. Uh, let's construct this. Uh, we're gonna wait for that. Uh, this part of the road that's done, road cargo station, can be constructed here. So let's go for this one, and the road cargo station can be constructed. Uh, this one here is gonna. It's short. It's gonna require bus to finish this, and then. Uh, all of this is already assigned. This is not connected yet. Uh, this here can be constructed. So we can go for road, Murmansk. It's automation, but it looks like it's a little bit on the far side here. Too far. And everything else seems to be assigned already to construction. So this looks like it's going pretty well. These roads here, I'm hoping that they're going to be automatically assigned. But, uh, yeah, right. Uh, where is you? What? Road Murmansk. Why did it disappear? Doesn't matter. Uh, bridge is done. Bridge is done. We don't need these bypasses anymore, but I'm going to leave them still because we need access to these construction sites. And some of them will have mud roads for firefighting purposes. Uh, you can see that a lot of machinery is being delivered. That's perfect. Uh, we should have a little bit less traffic here at the low. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, less traffic. This is what we are all about. Less traffic. But anyway, uh, all of this is being constructed. Railroad construction. Uh, I'm pretty sure they finished this one. Let's see now. I'm, I'll put another pressure on this. I'll put another pressure on this by assigning two railroads to be constructed over here. They finished this one. Let's see if they're going to be able to handle two of them. And what happens to the trains here? I assigned it, so we have one train spawning there, or doing what the hell he does. Looks like that's the train that goes in the opposite direction. Um, so that one is gonna do the voodoo that he do do so well, and we need a train in the opposite direction. Will we have it? It says here not. It says here not. Okay, let's leave it alone and see how it works. You see this opposite direction here? We need to construct this one as well. <clears throat> and we're going to have to plan this before we ever decide to go anywhere other than Nisesburg. We're going to have to finish this railroad, period. That's it. No two, thing no, no two ways about it. I'm probably going to go through the middle of the field uh, like this because I'm kind of considering this to be end of the town. Wow. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Pause. Okay, uh, this doesn't look good. What happened here? Uh, okay, population is still decent, but this is not good. I don't like the statistics over here. What's happening here? Uh, this is not storage for food. Storage for food is here. Did we have food issue? No, food is there. Crops, we have some, even though it's not required. Let's just go away. Um, food is being loaded. So what's with the... Is it consumption too high? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because this is a lot of um, uh, LZ. It could be consumption too high. Okay, let's address this straight away. Uh, I'm going to need this LZ. Uh, what I'm going to do... Uh, LZ 100. What I'm going to do now is remove you. Do we have... Uh, is this one... No, these are technical services, but then let's go for these. Like I said, I like causes, and this is capital city area. We can fill them all in. Uh, we need a road cargo station. Any of you road cargo station? You are road cargo station, right? Okay, you're going to be a while for me. Oh, boy. And this is why I was building a road cargo station. I need, um, I need a road. I need a hero. It needs to be something fast and... and fresh out of fight or something like that um i need a road cargo station unfortunately we don't have any around here uh and this one is not free i think we're just gonna have to deal with this uh what's up bus sup uh sell it we need lz 100 perfect uh, let's buy uh covered hull lz 100 lz 100 covered perfect there we go. You are going to go over here. And, uh, yeah, off you go. Uh, we're going to need one more. But this is going to be a different one. So let's uh, close this one, this one, and this one. Leave, leave you alone. You're going to go here. You're going to be loading on food. And you're going to go over here. 
and you're gonna be unloading on food. Uh, that's it. Off you go. Don't close the window. Don't close the window. Escape. Buy another vehicle. Covered hull. Uh, second page. LZ. Close the window. Uh, find the truck. Copy paste the schedule on this truck. Uh, that's how the song goes. Okay, so we have now supplied food to a second shop over here. Um, this is... I don't think there's a... It's a problem. It's a problem. We have too many consumers, not enough uh, uh, stuff, but we are just doubling now on all of this. It doesn't seem like it's a big issue. We did lose some population or we are still kind of losing. Let's see what the hell is happening here. Happiness, Nissesburg. It could be that Nissesburg is actually causing all of this. Uh, well, Downs... Well, okay. And Murmansk is not ideal. Murmansk is not... A, I think we're gonna have to... No, let's leave it like this. I think we're gonna have to address some of the issues of the citizens because cities grew and we didn't do much um, to improve their living conditions and stuff like kindergartens and well having a kindergarten there is kind of pointless because you know so many unemployed people um here they're all fine in statsovo markusovo is fine as well almost all the way up and we have galask galask has again happiness pretty pretty high galask is actually too big uh for for how it looks like it has four thousand people and these smaller cities that Sovo and Markusovo look uh because of the high buildings they look a little bit like more urban and yet they have like third of population happiness here so so and uh murmansk i would like to check it out let's see here there's a lot of kids here uh why didn't we finish this this needs to be done by groundwork and later we're gonna have to have construction i believe um, I'll put it both at the same time because it's miserable amounts of everything there. So anyway, uh, right. Uh, capacity here is fine. What do people need? Spirituality, culture. Culture is a thing, right? Uh, we said we're gonna build. We said we're gonna build a, a big culture thing around here. Yeah, I think we said we did. We will. Okay. Uh, this electricity thing uh, signs are because of the. Uh, uh, wooden rails. Actually, it looks like they finished everything. The only thing we need to do is separate these. Oh. Let's put it like this. Can we do something like this? Or maybe even better in the opposite directions because that's not gonna give, allow them to go out. <laughs> Um, and uh, we will have to have some, some system around here for the public transport. Why am I saying this? Because this is freaking done. We're ready to have trams in Murmansk. I think trams will also resolve some of the issues like sports. People not participating in sports because they don't have access to it. Uh, it's going to increase happiness. Uh, citizens unable to get food. Really? Well, they should... Ah, capacity issue capacity we have this one here but they don't have food here why don't you have food uh lz 100 covered okay i know what you do we just did some some stuff that you know you do the voodoo that you do do voodoo that you do do so well okay let's go to the second page and let's get the truck and then let's copy paste the, another schedule to you and off you go there we go we just doubled the food production over here well supply food supply i think this food supply here is decent uh what about clothing and stuff clothing and electronics there they're perfectly fine i think the food is the only thing that we have a little bit of an issue with uh, these guys are gonna get food soon i can straight away give them the uh the freezer truck what's the, who, who's what freezer trucks are we using uh rmn refrigeration trucks okay let's I, I can do that i can do that uh, real quickly, let's go with the refrigeration, R and M, where are you? Uh, these ones, I think, are these ones, but they're different color, aren't they? Red ones. I think that's the one. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, it, it's fine. 
the band's gonna make it anyway. So let's go to the cargo station over here and let's go to the shop over here. Unload, that's fine. Off you go. There we go. Traffic on the road, more stuff for our people. Uh, shops are gonna get more food as well, so hopefully that they're gonna service more people. Uh, this looks like it's a little bit burdened, overburdened, that's fine. I think I'm gonna leave the public transport system for them for the next episode. Uh, I need to implement the signalization here uh, and uh, directions, how they're gonna be using it. But other than that, I think we're pretty happy. Uh, I see a problem. We're gonna need an exchanger here. This is the end of the line. Um, so something like, uh, something like this. Of course it won't. Why would it work? Why would you work? There's no need for you to work. I can suffer in hell. Construct this, and this guy is going to construct it by the next episode. I think this is important because the, um, uh, this station is only one station, and then this station here is also one station, and then this is two stations at the same time. We can be using one, but I still have to connect it to one. Anyway, uh, right, right, right. Road here is almost done. We're going to need another road there. Connect all of this. Uh, again, railroad, it's, it's being done. This is being asphalted, that's nice, we're gonna work on that in the next episode. Railroads here, we, I could start on these as well, straight away, because I don't see that these guys here are gonna be... Ooh, they actually finished one of the railroads that I gave them. I didn't see the negative effects of that yet, but we'll, we'll, we'll see all of that. Let's, uh, two of you can come here and start working on these railroads whenever you have chance. Uh, and uh, are, do we dare, do we dare to finish this? I don't know. They should be working on this one still. No, they... Oh, they still didn't finish this one. They finished the other one, though. Okay, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. Plus, plus the like button. Um, press the like button. If you didn't enjoy, just leave a nasty comment in the comment section. We approve of those. Uh, like, subscribe, notification, bell, ring, comment section, hit it. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you in the next, if, next one. If you wanted to support the channel, you have the description of the video. Bye-bye. Uh,